Funny thing is, I did this twice already. Reason being, the first time I sat here for 10 minutes, didn't realize the camera wasn't even on. Then I seen the lens retract, and I said, okay, got to do this again. Then I went to do it again, found that the memory card got full. I don't know how I let that happen. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, it's your boy, me. Welcome to the channel where anime and means more. And this time, we're reviewing uh, Fist of the North Star. We're still on that. Except this time, I'm going to kick it into high gear. Reason being is because... It's going to, uh, it's, it's a few episodes got to be bust out. You know what I'm saying? You just got to got to get rid of this quicker. So anyway, um, I'm going to give a quick synopsis. Very brief, very shallow synopsis. You know, because I don't want to give everything away. And then just my opinions, my thoughts and whatever. And, and what I, you know, like about it. What I don't like about it. You know, all of the good stuff. Whatever. Anyway, the last uh, uh, thing we, uh, what you call him? Ken. He's basically on the rescue arc. He's trying to save his fiance and whatnot. And, and it's sort of like that Fist of the North Star versus Fist of South Star thing going on, that rivalry, even though it's not supposed to happen. So that that's the theme of the, you know, the first what, quarter of the show. But then the, 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 the thing I like about that is at the end she kills herself. Now she promised Ken that she was going to stay alive until he comes. That never happens in manga. And what I mean by this is this. Anytime somebody say, I'll make a promise that, uh, and by, through, I don't know, through the grace of God or something, they always fulfill it. Not in this one. Now, from this point to the point I'm at now, which is, you know, a very pivotal point, you know, I, I, so I'm, 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 I'm already, you know, waiting for the next couple of episodes, you know, to watch it. Uh, it's, we going to another rescue thing. Now, the, the next rescue is different because it's a different character. The character gets backstory, everything. No, you know, all that kind of good jazz. And it doesn't last for a long time. See what I'm saying? So it's a shorter one and everything else. Now, from this point on, it's just wave after wave. The same way we've been getting it before. It's like a video game. Wave after wave after wave after wave. This enemy, that that enemy, this enemy. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the way uh, Fist of North Star is. And, but the thing, good thing about that is during these, um, during this, these last few episodes is more so like, um, not as repetitive because they bring in new characters, Mamiya and Ray. So those people, they kill different, uh, you know, these waves of enemies are going down differently. We don't always just see them, you know, just get blown up, which is what we've been seeing. Damn, I'm hungry. But we don't always get to see them just get blown up, so... That's one good thing. We get to see them get sliced up. We get to see them, you know, hit with yo-yos, whatever. You know, all that kind of stuff. Enemy after enemy, you know, hostage after hostage. Now, we go from that point to, you know, instead of this rivalry, you know, South Star, North Star, you know, which, you know, continued a little bit because of Ray. But after that, we go into North Star versus North Star. So, that, and it gets more interesting because... Then we get into his, uh, Ken's, you know, past coming back to haunt him. Now, it doesn't mean that he was, uh, evil in his past and karma's coming back to get, you know, to get him. It just means that things from his past is coming back to haunt him. That's all that, that's all I'm saying. And it's basically he's on the, on the move going from place to place to place to place to handle his objective. Just like the last time. Except this time, we don't have Bat and, uh, uh Lynn holding him back. That's the, that, that's the, that's it in a nutshell. These last few, uh, uh, episodes that, well, last, like, 20-something episode, that's it in a nutshell. Now, let me, now to get to a review, like, my opinions, whatever. Like I said, it's been waves after wave, but since Ray and Mamiya is there, we see, get to see different kills and different, you know, different things like that. That makes it less repetitive. Not only that, the story's a little bit deeper. It's not just a rescue now. It had, it had another rescue in it, but it's not just a rescue. Matter of fact, it had two rescues in it. But though the second one's not really a rescue, they didn't really need to rescue him. You know what I'm saying? He, he, was, he, you know, he was staying there on purpose, you know? So it wasn't really much of a rescue. It was more of a mission that happened to have somebody that they could likely have to rescue in it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, we also get, this is, like I said, North Star versus North Star. That's another aspect, so it changes a little bit, and we don't get into that, you know, uh, what is it? You know how Hollywood always says, okay, we're doing a story about, I don't know, politics. Next, uh, what's it, um, sequel, 
We're going to bring in Martians. And we're going to do this. We're going to... All we did was go from South Star to North Star. That's it. We brought in other characters from Ken's past. Like, the, the last one was uh, his fiance. Now we got other people from his his uh his life, you know, his past come back. And then it's not cliche because usually cliche we get um what am I trying to say? We get either the people from his past is good or we get people from his past is evil. They got team up, face this new evil, or they got a or or they all evil and he just gotta face them all, you know, at a certain point in time bust them all out. In this one, we get a mix of everything, and that's what I like about it. It's a mix of everything. Some people is good, some people is bad. This person, that person, everything ain't just black and white. And one good thing is this: we, even we know Ken Shiro is very OP for this series, but that's all counteracted. Reason being, he doesn't save everybody. Like in other series, okay, here come we should call him the main, you know, protagonist or whatever. Everybody's cool. No. He, everybody's dying in front of this cat. So even though he's so so strong, he can't beat everybody. And one good another good thing is, even though he doesn't like seeing people die, he's willing to sacrifice because he'll see somebody, you know, a hostage, he says, Go ahead and kill him and watch what happens to you. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't want them to die, but it's like, I'm not going to, you know, let you kill 30,000 people before I get to you or, you know, be, you know, they hold one person hostage and then they're hit, since they got that one person hostage, the person will let them kill everybody else. Although that's displayed in the story, Kenshiro is not the one to do that. He, he's willing to go at you head on and if you kill that person, I'm going to make sure your death is even worse and that way... You know, as an example to other people. And that way it's not so cliche. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm enjoying about this series so far. It's, it, you know, they got different aspects about it. It's not just, you know, you know, and, and, and you know, it's not just, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, even though it's wave after wave and repetitive in that way, everything else is changing. Oh, so we get more, like the backstory I'm talking about. You, you see how it's like a, a nuclear war and stuff like that. We get back to on that. I was, we didn't know what time it happened. Now we know what happened. We get back to in the, you know, Ken's past. Also the people from his past. And it's not so black and white. Like it seemed black and white. Ken Shiro is just the strongest guy it ever was. It's not so black and white by this point. That wasn't what I was going to... It was something else I needed to say, but I can't remember. Anyway, go ahead and comment, rate, subscribe, and all the other good jazz, and I'm out. Peace. I can't believe I forgot.